You know how they say the universe is four dimensional, three spatial dimensions and one um, observational or like metaphysical dimension, which is typically referred to as time. Like there's this way, this way, and this way. Well, I'm here to tell you that there's not really three dimensions. There's only two physical dimensions, although it always manifests itself to us as three. I have a lot of theories about what that means. I'm not going to get into it now, but let's just get started. I'm going to start by telling you a statement that is both true and false simultaneously. And I'll explain why it's true and false, how it's true and false, and I will explain to you why people are biased. This will be today's video will be about isms and phobias. Okay? So Let's say there are only two genders. I'm not saying that, although I kind of am. Ready? And there's a differentiation between the two. There's a space. This is what there are only two genders looks like when people say it in a biased way. When people say it and they're being sexist or homophobic or something to that effect. They think there are only two genders. People who only see the world as binary as one or the other, will not understand things like homosexuality and bisexuality and various flavors of omnisexuality or whatever you want to call it. They just won't understand it and they'll see, they'll see evidence to support their claims. Now I'm going to show you what open-minded is. With just M and F, every single human being on the planet can be registered. No, every single sexual interaction between humans exists here. Every single one. Are you ready? This is one dimension, male, female. Technically true, but not the whole situation. So how do you move on beyond this? I have observed that there are men and there are women. So how do I move on beyond this? I think, well, this is, this is one dimensional. I can't represent all information on this. This is nothing. There's, there's gotta be something here. There's got to be something here because it's possible to be over here. It's possible to be over here. It's possible to be, you're not on this line. You're within a contained area. So male and female, two individuals, two singular concepts. However, when you consider them together, and this is the key, consider them together and think, what is this representing? What is this representing? This is representing physicality, or more accurately in this case, for me personally, I'm, I believe this is representing um, who you are. This is you. This is representing who you are, um, who you self-identify as. You're the value you give yourself. Maybe you're fully, maybe you consider yourself to only be male, maybe you consider yourself to be only exclusively completely female. Maybe you consider yourself to be like, not quite, you know, a little, little towards the male side. But still, this isn't, this isn't drawing the whole picture, is it? You can tell. So how do we draw the whole picture? Well, we take that whole concept that we have here, which is to say who you are. And we're talking about gender and sexuality here. So what would be, what line would run adjacent to this line and act as the second dimension to fully graph this? Again, it would be male and female. Now, some of you who know math and trigonometry or vectors or whatever this is actually called, I do have um, a bit of math background and it'll spin my head a little more than it needs to be spun if I don't do it positive, positive, negative, negative. You understand? So I'm going to put female over here, which is not positive or negative. None of these are, but if it was numbers, that's how they would be represented. And then male here, oops, <laughs> not male there, that should be female. And then you get male here, and you get female here. So this, just I'm not going to assume people know these things, even though they probably do. This line right here is called the x-axis. This line right here is called the y-axis. Okay, so... What does the x-axis represent? 
x equals. Now I'm going to misspeak here. No matter what I say, I'm going to be wrong to at least half of you. What I need you to do, this is about concepts. You need to think about concepts. You need to understand what I'm saying and not get defensive. Okay? So x, this line right here, equals me, the, the self. It's you. It's what you identify as because that's a fixed point. You identify as one thing, although you can't... <laughs> I'll get into that. It's not just one thing. And then the y-axis represents, I'll call it partner. If you want, you could call the x-axis what, what you are and the y-axis what society says you're supposed to be. It doesn't matter. You, as long as you, these variables are opposing, as long as you know what I mean when I say the word me, I mean drowned Will right here. Ooh, my hair's not so good. And as long as you understand that by partner, I mean what you're looking for in others. Okay? So, oh, I did this weird. <laughs> I added another female over here instead of male. Okay, so if the x-axis isn't, let's, let's take one. Let's take a point. I'm just going to. I'm just going to walk by, I'm going to close my eyes like this, and I'm just going to go that point. Was it this or this? I'm just going to assume it was this. So this point right here. What does that massive point I just drew represent? Well, on the me line, it's on the male side. So this person identifies as male. On the partner side, or attraction side, whatever you want to call it, also male. So this person, this category right here, this whole section, that, that whole bit, like up in, up in here, this whole piece represents homosexual men. Now, this one is the exact same thing as this one. They're the exact same. For the exact same point, they run straight through zero, even though zero doesn't exist. Those two points are exactly the same. However, in concept, in concept, these two points are the same. However, this is a homosexual woman. Now, there's more information to be extrapolated here because you're like, that doesn't tell, the, what about all the different whatever, like flavors of this and that? See, that's where things get interesting. When you really realize what this means and you stop thinking that male means penis, and female means vagina. As soon as you can realize I'm just talking about X and Y, A and B, one and two, even and odd, left and right. Like as soon as you realize it's just two sides of the same coin and that neither means anything in particular, you can really dive into this. This point right here. On the me line, they're male, but not by much. So they identify as male, primarily, but really not by much, as this distance is very small. The equivalent on the other side would be something like this. Right, now I'm getting ahead of myself when I do that. So, let's call this person one. Now, I may accidentally misread the graph, but it's all here. Every single human sexuality on the planet is in this. Correction. <laughs> Although it's also not, and I can't fully comprehend why it's not. So this graph represents human sexuality between humans. <laughs> okay. When people are attracted to people, that's what this represents. So, this person, number one. They are, they identify as male, but not by much. They're very in touch with their feminine side. Um, they are attracted to men by a pretty substantial degree. Chances are they would not be interested in women, most likely, in a sexual way. This person's not that bisexual, but they're not necessarily turned off either. See, I'm making a lot of assumptions based on this point. I'm, but approximately, this is a gay male who is in touch with his feminine side, but is not attracted to women in any way, shape, or form. This person is the exact same thing, only a woman attracted to women instead of a man attracted to men. I don't care what you look like for either of these points. It doesn't matter. Let's take another point. Let's use this one. 
I don't know what I did, but I'm just going to take this point right here. Because this is the important part. It's about opposites and adjacents. Opposites and adjacents, okay? So this point right here, this person is, identifies as extremely masculine, or as, no, not masculine, Ex they identify as extremely male, and uh, they prefer women, but they're very close to the dividing line. So this person is extremely bisexual. This person just has a very subtle preference for women. So this one, this section represents heterosexuality, as does this one. So here you have heterosexual, here you have heterosexual with the opposite gender. And then here you have homosexual, and here you have homosexual, right? I'll just put, I don't know. Oh, why not just do it the way it's supposed to be? This one will be M, M. This one will be F, F. This one will be F, M. And this one will be M, F. And there you have every possible combination of attractions and existences. And Mike got a battery warning already. That didn't take long at all. So, but what about, what about pansexual? What about no attraction? What about all of this? Well, somebody who is asexual and has zero sexual attraction to anybody would be on this line exclusively. Wait. Yes, would be somewhere on this line. Yep. It would be exactly one point existing right there. A bisexual person would be very, very close, would be like partially on this line, but also partially over it. You understand? It would be like here you have somebody who isn't attracted to anyone. Can you see that? Yes, you can. This is the line. This is where they exist. Here is somebody who is evenly bisexual. No, that gave you the wrong idea. No, I don't think it did. Yeah, you see how it's two separate things that come together? That now, what a, now what people like to do, and this pisses me off, this is a problem. It's not as, it's, it's a problem. People will take this block right here, right? And we'll say, then they'll give it a special little title. They'll be like, everybody who falls in here has a special little title. We'll call them omnisexuals, or we'll call them flanker sexuals, or whatever the fuck. Like, they want to group these off and title them. Everybody wants to take little sections of this and title it. Like, this section, for example. People want to title that bisexual, or whatever else. Or this, this right here. That section right there. No, that, this is the sexuality line. They want to identify as genderless which is fine, but why do you have to title it? Over here, you have, this would be bisexual people, wait. No, my apologies, I'm getting a little bit spun, but you see what I'm saying? People take little blocks of, of points that human sexuality lands in and they give it titles. And that is going to cause a riff because when you have a, an us and they're a them, and you disagree, you can't, you're, everybody's going to think the other one is doing something wrong. You understand? So there's sexuality, and I should probably stop now.